So I'm doing a slightly different video today. It's been a long time since I made a detecting video. But hopefully that should uh, change this summer. Um, I got uh, a few permissions. One, uh, several actually, from my old landlord. And I am getting a little bit more bolder, I guess you could say, with uh, research and just looking around and asking around trying to find some more sites. But I wanted to show you, uh, I just recently moved with my girlfriend and I wanted to show you some of the uh, things that I've found over the course of about the last year, couple years. So if you'll excuse the mess, this is what I got. You can see I have all these bottles back here and I have more bottles I'm going to show you here in a minute or two uh, but these are all ones that I need to clean they're all varying ages actually they're not even all bottles some of them like this one here is a nice jar a little old jar these aren't very uh, very much that old I think the oldest one I have actually is this one right here which is a dry soda bottle from uh, I want to say like the 1940s or so but anyhow um, actually I think it says Canada dry on it it's an old yeah old Canada dry bottle which I thought was really neat uh, I got that on a hunt with uh, a friend of mine and uh, her friend um, then we have all these uh, all different odds and ends here I like to start down here. Um, these are all sinkers. Most of these I got last summer in one of the previous video videos that you've seen. Um, I got most of these sinkers and some of them actually look pretty old. I'm no expert on sinkers uh, but some of them are, uh, they look old. I, I don't know exactly. Um, like these ones here almost look like they're homemade. Um, I don't think too many people, if at all, make their own sinkers. And some of them even have the uh, the weight on them. I guess one here says, uh, you can kind of see there, it says one, one and a half, I believe, like one and a half ounces. Um, so and these are all fresh water up here that I found in fresh water. These all I found at the beach. These are uh, deep sea sinkers. So you got this one here. Uh, they also are, are marked um, from smallest to biggest and again I found these within the last uh, year like year and a half two years this is my one of my most recent finds I really was excited when I dug this up I thought it was an axe head and then I looked at it a little closer and you can kind of see it's a little tapered off there at the end. It gets a little more narrower. It's actually a pickaxe head. Uh, the head of a pickaxe, the back of it, like the hoeing part where you'd use to just scrape dirt. Um, I found this in a creek. Um, it's a few inches down and uh, I don't know how old it really is, but it, it's very heavy. So I don't think it's uh, modern by any means, um, depending on what your definition of modern is. But I don't think it is really that old. And then over here off to the right is where I have like basically everything I found at the beach. I don't even remember where I found all this stuff. Um, I don't have it organized. As you can see there's pool tabs in there and everywhere. <laughs> uh, bottle caps. I just take everything I find if it's trash even just to get a chance to throw it away. Well it's a clad. Nothing special in there. I think there might be a bicentennial or two that I didn't pick out yet. But some points of interest here. I got this huge shell. Probably not going to see but I have no idea what it's to. It's like uh, I don't even know what caliber but it's uh, still sand coming out of it. <laughs> um, but it's huge. Um, then I got some other neat things. I got this uh, this piece of costume jewelry, like an earring. I got this little dog uh, dog tag, and then I got this key. Maybe it'll unlock uh, the door to my house. Who knows? Um, we've been struggling trying to get our, our new door open with some keys that we made, so maybe that one will work. Um, I found this rock too. It's uh, you look closely. It kind of has like a quartz. Um, formation in there. I thought it was neat. I probably won't keep it. I might use it as a garden decoration for a backyard. And then uh, I've got a few tent stakes. 
Could have used those a few weeks ago when I went camping and I needed some additional ones. <laughs> and then over here I have some tools I use to clean uh, clean up some, uh, well not really relics, but my bottles. Uh, so this is just a scrubber brush. So what I'll do, and I'm going to do this a little bit later today, it's going to be my project, is I'll take a bucket full of uh, warm water and then uh, I'll submerge these bottles in there and then just scrub them out, get the dirt out from the inside of them. Some of them I cleaned already that I just need to clean a little bit more. And then I have this other tool um, that I didn't even start using actually yet. I'm going to use it today. Um, it's a little, uh, it has a little like LED light on the end. Um, if you need to see during the dark, you can't really see it now because it's daylight. But what it does is you press this little button here and then that'll extend out as like a little grabber arm. So I didn't even buy it for the intention of these bottles. Um, what I bought it for is my car actually. Um, I put too much change in the uh, change compartment and it ended up falling um, back behind my console. So I had to literally take the console of my car apart and get all the coins with this little grabber arm. <laughs> coins, as you know, aren't magnetic. There was only ever, as far as I know, one um, magnetic coin ever made, and that was the 1943 steel penny. Uh, so I'm going to use this. I'll show you, actually. I can demonstrate what I'm going to be using it for. So like this bottle here, you can scrub and scrub and scrub for days and sometimes these um, clods of dirt are so tough that they, won't, they just won't break down. So one of the things I'm going to use this arm for, and I'll show you here, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but I can sort of at least demonstrate a little bit. I'm going to put this down in here, I'm going to aim for the clod of dirt, and then just kind of grab it. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it. And then it just pulls out just like that. Pretty nifty um, tool. I found another use uh, for. Because um, I'm not going to, trust me, I'm not going to make the same mistake of losing change in my car again. <laughs> took me like a uh, little more than two hours to get change and I'm not exaggerating. I think I maybe have found like $87 worth of change. And I think some of that was from the previous owner as well because I found a parking ticket in there which wasn't even mine. <laughs> so in here I have some more bottles and some more relics. Top is mostly all bottles. Um, all these blue ones are actually Milk of Net Magnesia bottles and you can still see a lot of the residue in there. No matter what I do, I try and clean and clean and clean and I just can't get them completely clean. Um, but they're still very pretty. Uh, maybe I'll give them another re-cleaning another day. Probably not today because they're just a pain to clean. Some other bottles of varying sizes. This actually here is one of my favorite. It's uh, not that old, but it's one of the, like, the original um, formula Mountain Dew bottles. And there was the, uh, I guess, mascot, hillbilly guy, and their slogan in the day was, It'll tickle your innards. And down here is where I have some more relics. Uh, I have some horse horseshoe halves. I actually have some whole horseshoes that I found. Um, I don't have them with me. I think right now they're up at my mom and dad's house, um, which is about an hour north of me. Um... And yes, I have a toy gun here. I think I showed that in another video. Um, it's not that old. Trigger kind of works, but not really. Um, it's one of these assists I found with most of those freshwater sinkers. It's like a big hook. This, I'm not sure what it is. I kept it, though. Kind of looks like part of a bullet. Um, except the one side is like completely split in half. That's why I kept that. I it's heavy enough to be a bullet but I'm not sure that that's what it is I don't know potentially this I saved um, probably won't save it but uh, this I found also right by the freshwater sinkers in the river 
part of a very old glass bottle. You can see, maybe vaguely, vaguely make it out. It says, uh, it looks like it says made in. It probably would have said USA. Uh, but it's very thick glass. That's how you can tell that it's pretty old. A lot of the older bottles are very thick glass. Um, this, actually, I um, found at the site of an old brick plant um, near my mom and dad's. And it's the top, I believe, to some kind of bottle. It's porcelain, uh, which is really cool. You don't see that anymore at all. Um, I thought it was an insulator top at first, some kind of insulator top, but uh, you can see it kind of has ridges here inside here. It's chipped a little bit in the inside, so it was definitely part of the top of the bottle. And then right beside it is my favorite find ever. This I found with a buddy of mine. Um, we were down and around uh, um, Hagerstown, Maryland, and I found this. This is a uh, Tombak button from, I want to say, mid-1700s to early 1800s. Um, my buddy actually found a British halfpenny, like, literally feet away from me. Um, I was so upset. <laughs> <laughs> but then I found this, uh, so I wasn't really that upset anymore, because I found it doesn't have as much value as coin, probably, obviously, but it's uh, still a really neat find. You can see it's a little looped on the end. Uh, I thought it was a coin when I first uh, dug it up, because it kind of, you could see that the surface, the shiny surface was showing up, and um, I thought it was a coin, and... Um, but then I looked a little closer and I thought it was uh, definitely some type of button and I was correct. So those are my finds that I wanted to show off uh, in my today's show and tell. So I'm going to clean some of these up now. I got my big Lowe's bucket right here. going to fill it with some hot uh, water and some soap and clean some of this stuff up. And uh, it's a beautiful day, so I'll set some of this stuff out, and then hopefully within an hour or two, all of it should be dry and, and good to go. So I'll see you guys next time. Later.